Okay, let's get it. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today we're gonna take a look at the DC Multiverse Superman of Earth Negative 3. Now this is, of course, by McFarlane Toys, so McFarlane Mercenaries. Let's check this one out. Got us another Superman in the building. Standard packaging, big box, showcasing the figure, the uh, build a figure and the accessories or the lack of accessories, however you want to look at it. This is the Starro, the Conqueror, build a figure uh, wave. Interesting, um, on the back, I think they're doing that whole, um, I forget what that uh, Batman Joker build a figure uh, was with McFarlane. Personally, I don't know, but we don't have a picture or know what figures are coming in this wave to collect uh, the four um, pieces to build Starro. But hey, back of the packaging showcasing the figure and the build a figure piece. Like I said, it comes with the eye. But this is from Crime Syndicate. Now, I'm not a, uh, I, I don't read the comics. So, hey, I'm not really hip. All I know is I like dope ass figures. So, I saw this at Target. Check your targets. It is hitting shelves now. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. If you're new to the channel, we do unboxes live, uncut, raw. So, get my knife handy. And let's get straight to it. Like I said, man, I don't read the comics, so I'm not hip to uh, most of these figures. But like I said, man, I just like the hotness, dope ass figures, it's right up my alley. So I saw it, I pick it up, I review it, give you guys the information. That way, you you know, you can decide if you want to pick it up or not. It does come with the uh collector's card and of course the mcfarlane puck i never take those things out but whatever so let's get straight into it uh let's see we got these ties now lately i've been struggling with these let's try some i got oh okay that was a little easier let's see Are you guys interested in how McFarlane is releasing some of these builder figure waves where, you know, you got to wait. I think that one was like you waited a whole year or something like that, some shit like that, to collect all the pieces to build it. I ain't a fan. But whatever. And, and, and look at this. And this is why I do unboxes live. The head popped off straight out the package. Well, me taking it out the package. Middle figure piece, and this looks like some type of accessory. Looks like it grips around the face. This part, this this out here, translucent plastic. It is soft plastic. I'm gonna get that out here in a second. Let's go ahead and get this figure. Let me get zoom back in a little bit. Get up close and personal. Let's see. Yeah, so the ball is still, it's a double ball, big ball at the bottom. It looks like a small ball at the top. Should just plug right back in. It does, but it's super loose, like super loose. I'm not sure if this, may be able to warm it and or heat it up and get it back a little bit tighter. But anyway, here he is. He doesn't come with extra hands. He doesn't come with any weapons. He doesn't come with uh, another head sculpt, anything like that. Just him and the builder figure piece in that 
other piece that we'll take a look at here in a second. But I'm trying to get this trying to get this guy to stand. And can we? There he is. So bring them in close. Let's see. Let's get some extra light on them. So we can take a look at the details. Face is done pretty good. You get that red paint up for the eyes. And also, if you can see up under the eyes, it kind of coming out. There's a nice red shadow to give it like a glowing effect. Eyebrows are done pretty good. The paint up for the lips is done good. Hair sculpt, I like it. With this head, like I said, man, it's popping out way too easy. I do not like that. He's just done in this nice blue plastic. It almost looks exactly like this blue back here. And my little backdrop. The This here is molded. I do like that McFarlane does this. Um, get this you. Like I said, I don't read the comics, so I'm not 100% sure of what this means. I just pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to hot ass figures. Dope plastic, you dig? Get some yellow paint, and this is all done pretty good. You get some silver paint going around the waist area. Here, here, and here. Red paint on the boots, which are applied pretty good and it's applied in the right spots unlike that one superman where that shit was hideous it was crazy coming around to the back the cape nice soft rubbery feeling plastic nice wrinkles and detail folds swooped off to one side it's very pliable and light so this Pegged in in the back and probably glued. Here's the back side of him. Really not too much details, man. He is a, this is a tight suit, Superman, so. Not going to see all that crazy tactical and detail type printing on his suit. But nice and clean. I do like it. I do like it. Let's go. Let's run straight into it. Articulation. The head can look up that high. Which is not bad. He looks down without it popping off. About that far. It's pretty dope. Of course you get rotation. You get crazy amount of tilt. For some expression. And he just moves very fluid. I really like that. So. Man. That's a dope ass looking figure. <laughs> arms get your t-pose you do have butterfly in there so see if it's stuck let's see all right so coming in you can get it in that far going out you can get it back that far which is pretty good you do have a bicep swivel here which is pretty good double jointed elbows man now I was praising McFarlane for uh, them fixing that deep see okay look at how hollow that shit is and how broken up that is that is terrible it looks crazy and for assembly in the factory you see the L on the hinge man that looks crazy that's terrible Todd come on give us a dude. man I mean he that's what I'm I like that he's giving us great articulation I don't mind the pins but this shit here man come on Show a little bit more care, man, like you do with the spawn line. Like, let's look at... 
Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. Get them somewhere. Let's see. Okay, so look. Recently reviewed Soul Crusher. You see how, and this elbow is bent. It's not that bad, right? It's not too bad. This here is terrible. That's ugly as hell, y'all. Look at that shit. Why? Look at look at this. That right there is enough to get five out of ten for it. I, I hate for it. That's terrible. There's no reason for that. Yeah, you get great range. But come on, man. Rotation at the wrist. It's on that universal ball. So it hinges. You get rotation. And it's and it's rotating at the bottom part of this universal pad or ball. Yeah, let's see. Do it. Can I get it to move? Can I get one of them to move? And the, and and I didn't do it. Let's let's pop. I can't even tell if this damn thing is it hinges. There we go. It was just stuck. So it does hinge. And depending on how you rotate it, you can get it up and down or in and out. So. And it's it's not as bad as most of his figures are. It kind of, you know, it, it goes kind of flush. It's not a small ass ball or a big ass ball. Small forearm. This head just pops off like way too easy. Fallen mercenaries, man. Talk to Todd. All right. And you talk to Todd by not purchasing shit like this, man. That's why I. Yo, look, check it. I spend my money on this shit. You dig? And I review it and I give you the honest, my honest opinion. That way, when you see it, you know, you get, you have a more informed this uh, decision to make. So you can, you know, you have the information you need to either buy it or not. Ab cut, he crunches that far, which is pretty good on that top. And look, the head is just, man, dude, yo. Just on the top cut, he hinges back that far. You get a lot of gapping in there, but it works, All right? You do get tilt, rotation up there as well. So that's done pretty good. And for the waist, that ball, you get your rotation and combine, he crunches forward that far. He goes back that far a whole lot more than crunching forward legs this is a soft rubber uh, plastic here and it kind of hinders it a little bit so his legs go out only about that far uh, he kicks forward about that far back about that far you get your McFarlane Thigh swivel, which is up in the hip, which I like. You get a lot more in than you do out. You don't hardly get any out, so I don't like that. Double jointed knees, which look a lot better than a funkin' elbow. Still kind of ugly, but it's not too bad. Foot hinges down that far. Up that far. And you get rotation and pivot. So, all in all, man, um, it looks good. Uh, we do have some minor issues aesthetically with the elbow. I don't like that. When leaning it back, not the biggest deal in the world, but you do get some gapping. And the head popping off way too easy. 
Um, I wish there was a more consistency with uh, the DC multiverse line. Sometimes, man, you get some of the figures and they're they're firing on all cylinders. And then you get shit like this, man. I mean, the type of plastic, it's like hollow. feels kind of cheap. And if you're buying uh, this line, man, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When, they, when I talk about the feel of the plastic. And as you can see here, I'm going to take the head off it. It was coming off anyway. This top part here is a separate piece. You see that? This flesh tone piece is a separate piece, separate plastic. And look at all of this. Like, look at this shit, man. You see this? Yeah, I don't know. Look at the damage to the to the plastic. I'm not sure if my camera is picking it up, but yeah, it's like two different factories are putting together these figures. And and you know what? I'm interested in knowing. Let's see. What I'm doing is I'm okay. So this is I'm gonna try to get this. Sit him back here. Made in China, right? Photos of each figure, prototypes, product specifications, subject to change. Please uh, obtain package for future reference. Blah blah blah. McFarlane toys and other McFarlane marks and logos displayed are trademarks of TMP International LLC, made in China. So this is May in China. And I'm going to take a look at, let's see, the She Spawn. Made in China. But it's made in China, but I thought we were going to see uh, some differences like we see with the SH Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball line, where the products coming out of Taiwan are having you know, QC issues as to where the China uh, facility, uh, you're not having that problem. But, I mean, it's a dope looking figure for sure. Um, 25 bucks. Ah, man. Tough call. I mean, yeah, it's a builder figure. You get the builder figure piece. And, uh, I mean, he looks good, but. You got some uh, quality issues as well as uh, some engineering flaws like this elbow. And I'm going to keep bringing that up, man, because that's ugly as hell. Come on, Todd. You got to do better than that, man. Let's get him back here. Get him to stand. And as far as what else comes in the package... You seen the build a figure piece? I don't want to take a look at this uh, other piece here. Sorry about that. I'm moving my camera. Get this back. There we go. So this piece here. The starfish. Translucent plastic for the eyes. Nice and rubbery. Plastic. I mean, the sculpt is doing pretty good. It doesn't cheap out. You can see the mouth on the backside. Tentacles. I mean, you get the nice detail. But I'm not sure what this... Maybe it wraps around a head or a face. I'm not even sure. There's nothing on the package. That lets you know what this what this is for. All right. Let's go through some size comparisons. Here he is with Soul Crusher from the McFarlane Spawn line. 
Here he is with Hazmat Suit Batman. They scale pretty good. Sid's 7 inch line. McFarlane makes 7 inch figure, so about all the same height. Let's move these guys out the way. Let's get them next to one of the best figures so far this year, in my opinion. The NECA Gargoyles Demona. That's how they scale. Her wingspan is crazy. And he's starting to tilt. Recently reviewed on the channel. Check out that review. Most of these have been reviewed, or all of them have been reviewed so far. He's falling. Let's see. Who else can we get? Let's get him next to uh, King Grayskull, which in one of my reviews, I was doing a comparison, brought him out, and I couldn't think of his damn name. Also, a seven-inch figure. This is by Mattel. Dope-ass figure as well. This is how they scale next to each other. Let's get out. Frost King, King Frost. McFarlane build a figure. Yo, if you ain't built this thing, man, I highly recommend buying those uh, four figures, man. It's a hundred bucks. Yeah, we've seen the... Um, a uh, couple of those figures already released, but hey, this builder figure, man, dope, 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 dope. So they scale. Who else can I bring out here? Let's see. Oh, of course. Got to bring out my main man, Major Blood. Hasbro GI Joe line. Did you guys check out the uh, Hasbro Pulse uh, G.I. Joe um, panel? Dope figures coming out. Let me let me know what you guys, uh, which ones you guys are really looking forward to. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to say the um, Sergeant Slaughter for sure. And of course, as always, got to bring out my main girl, another Hasbro figure. This is Riri, Marvel Legends. Dope ass figure, y'all. She doesn't want to stand right now. But that's how they scale. He tires over them. All right. And... Is that it? Is that it? Oh. Oh. Been playing around and posing this thing, man. This is a dope ass figure, man. Hasbro, I like what Hasbro is doing. Some of the joints are gummy. I hope they fix that. But here she is with Fortnite's uh man, what the hell is her name? Recently reviewed on the channel as well. But that's how they scale together. All in all, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a buy. I mean, this dude is beefy as hell. Look how big this dude is. I think it's a buy. Uh, McFarlane tighten up on the QC issues, especially for the DC multiverse line. You're killing it with the spawn line. You kill it with DC figures, man. When you, uh, when you release a shit like this. I mean, these two feel completely different. Like the feel of the plastic and what they use. He's much heavier than this guy, and he's bigger. Or more bulky. You know what I mean? You don't get no flight hand, no flight stand. Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, he looks good. He'll look good on your shelf for sure. But that's your look at Superman of Earth negative three by DC Multiverse. Go ahead and pick it up, man. If you guys are trying to build that uh, Starro, is that his name? 
Yeah, Star Road the Conqueror. Go ahead and pick him up. You're going to need him, of course, unless you just buy the pieces from somebody. I don't know. He's going to look good on the shelf. Uh, McFarlane, tighten up your QC problems. Uh, fix this curvaceous uh, elbow joints and knee joints. It's not as bad on the knee on this figure. When on some of them it is. Um, choose better material, man. This plastic feels very, very cheap. Uh, and it's hollow throughout the figure. Um, uh, is it a buy or pass? I don't know, man. It's up to you guys on this one, man. I picked it up, reviewed it for you guys so you can make your decision. Other than that, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification bell so you're notified when I do upload content. Like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about this one. And you guys know my saying, man. It's your boy, Sean, and I'm out. One.